Yeah, pretty, pretty crazy out there. Uh, wind speeds are just uh, atrocious and they're causing problems. So let's take a look at what's been going on. Uh, the day in review showing that the dust did hit pretty much all day long across the Albuquerque Metro and all across New Mexico in general. Here is a live look from a Rio Rancho camera. Hey, at least we get to enjoy the visuals as you're hopefully sheltering somewhere and staying out of that wind. But yeah, right now Roswell is in some rough territory because they've been seeing the worst. They've been getting uh, the dust storms down there. This is really true across southeastern areas of the state. So this high wind warning and the advisory, both of which are effect pretty much through our entire state will remain uh, so through at least 11 o'clock. And that means that the wind gusts could still get upwards of 60, 70 miles per hour. Right now, the sustained wind speed showing all the wind coming out of the west. We are getting sustained wind of 37 miles per hour in areas like Roswell, also 30 miles per hour in Taos, 35 in Las Vegas. But you factor in the wind gust and it is still through the roof, 51 miles per hour Las Vegas 52 Roswell and this is actually a little less than we were seeing earlier this afternoon. So where do we go from here? Well, through about 10 o'clock, I'm expecting that it's still going to be pretty darn windy across most of eastern New Mexico. But as we get toward tomorrow morning, we're finally going to get some relief. It's also going to be a little bit cooler. As you can see right here, there's some air sliding in from the east, which will bring some colder air with it. Wednesday, eh, it's looking a little bit breezy. Nothing near what we saw today. The same can be said for Thursday. So the worst is almost done with us right now. And we also are you know, celebrating the fact that we are getting some snow in the North Mountains. This is really just uh, what you would consider blowing snow within the highest uh, elevations of the mountains. But that uh, winter storm warnings effect until eight o'clock. So it will be colder. You know, that cold air will continue to make its way in from the east overnight through tomorrow, and we will continue to get those temperatures sub freezing across the north, uh, pretty much in all locations, 30s and 40s down south. Now, as far as conditions tomorrow, it's going to start out a little bit better. It's going to be a little bit breezy across eastern New Mexico, but then we start to get some moisture surging in from the south. That means a chance for some showers by tomorrow night, uh, pretty much all across southern New Mexico. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm here or there across the southwest and some snow, much needed snow, I might add, for the uh, higher elevations of southwest New Mexico. Through Thursday, that very quickly will work out and then we'll get back into warmer weather in a hurry. By Friday, I'm expecting things to really kind of be the calmest day of the week. And my goodness, you deserve it, especially in southeastern New Mexico, where that wind has been relentless. Then it comes back across eastern New Mexico on Saturday and then another windstorm on the way for Sunday with the possibility of a fire danger. Those wind speeds similar to what we saw today, probably not as intense, but certainly if you are planning on doing anything outdoors, just keep in mind it's going to be a little bit too windy on Sunday, especially across the southeast. Let's take a look at this, though. You're going to be bouncing all over the temperatures. 57 tomorrow in Roswell, almost into the 80s this weekend. I'm expecting the southwest to start getting some shower activity as we get toward later on tomorrow night. Again, snow for the mountains. It's going to be rather dry for Farmington for the next several days and actually warming up into Saturday, high of 64. The North Mountains for tomorrow. Uh, mostly in the 40s and 50s. I'm expecting a high of 49 degrees for Santa Fe and a little chance of some of that shower activity by Thursday morning. Otherwise, the northeast into the East Mountains. Yeah, we're going to be looking a little bit better, it's slightly breezy, but nothing compared to today. So we can sort of take a, a breath of relief across the Albuquerque Metro. I'm expecting a slight, slight chance of showers early Thursday morning. If they do materialize, it'll be very short lived.